Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Cardin Lloyd Mark VI tankette. The Cardin Lloyd tankettes were a series of British pre-World War II tankettes, the most successful of which was the Mark VI. The Lloyd version built in significant numbers. It became a classic tankette design worldwide, was licensed, built by several countries, and became the basis of several designs produced in various countries. So yeah, the Cardin Lloyd tankette, a kind of uh interesting vehicle i guess you can say uh very small <laughs> thank it as the name explains and basically it really wasn't much of a tank yet as even then um, it was pretty much equipped with a vickers machine gun and that was pretty much the main armament of this thing uh, which really made it kind of useless <laughs> in a way at least when you had comparable tanks like the l3 um, slash 33, they were equipped with some of them with 20mm guns and uh, later on flamethrowers and stuff. And the Cardinal Lloyd tankettes were basically nothing in comparison. They were these small, very lightly armored, very lightly armed little tankettes that were basically just mobile pillboxes that could easily get taken out by majority of weapons. Um, so yeah, really interesting tank, uh, but also a really bad one. Um, as well so cool stuff there um anyways kind of diving in into taking a look at it as you can see it's got a super low profile um as the tank's kind of main design element is it's a super small one um it's max, max uh height was only about 1.22 meters and two to one it's about two a little over two blocks and you can see here that's pretty much where we're sitting at so a very low uh profile tank and um very interesting as you can see we have pretty much no space for crew um, this is theoretically where you would have a gunner and a driver and that would be consist of the crew obviously a very small vehicle pretty um, you know simple and uh, you know overall you know decent looking design uh, but yeah interesting vehicle something kind of fun to throw into uh, any of your uh, early World War II type conflicts or anything like that um, and all that fun stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our first layer. We'll be going ahead and begin with layer number uh, zero and one. For these layers here, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to the side of the narrow brick stair and place down an item frame, and then in the item frame, we're going to place down a green stained glass pane. We then want to go over from the narrow brick stair, one and two, dark oak with top slabs, and then we're going to place down a dark oak with sign, come off the narrow brick up down stair, and the same thing over here on this side as well. We then want to place the item frame on the side of the narrow brick stair, followed by a green stained glass pane in the item frame like so. From this, we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs back from these two narrow brick stairs, and on the sides here of these two uh, dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down two item frames with green terracotta blocks in the item frames, and we're going to go ahead and do uh, dark oak wood signs over the item frames um, like that. And we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing over here to this side as well. So just like that. Then the middle space here, we're going to fill in with two rows of two of dark oak with top slabs. We're going to place a second row of two going back. An air brick block here in the ground to both sides. And then a dark oak with sign coming off, or a dark oak with trap door. Uh, not trap door. Third time's a charm. Dark oak with fence gate coming off of it like so. Uh, come off the fence gate, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign to both sides. We then want to place down an air brick up sound stair to both sides as well. A item frame coming off the side of the narrow brick stair, cobweb coming off the side of the stair, and uh, same thing like that on both sides there. Then the middle space here, we just want to go ahead and place down two dark oak with fence gates, like this in the middle two spaces here, and open them up toward each other like so. With that out of the way, that's going to wrap up layers 0 and 1. Let's move into layers uh, 2 and 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layers. We have our final layers, layers 2 and 3. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of these two narrow brick up sound stairs. From that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone appear on this dark oak with top slab over here on the left side. We then want to place down a narrow brick up sound stair on top of this dark oak with top slab. Coming off of it, going forward, we're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate. And then going back from the dark oak with stair, or sorry, the narrow brick stair, we're going to place down a uh, grindstone coming off of it like so. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a delight detector to the left of the narrow brick stair here, and then a dark oak wood trap door on top of this dark oak wood slab to both sides like so. We're going to then take a mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides, 
a green shulker box here next to this grindstone like that. After that, uh, we're going to then take a green terracotta. We're going to place that green terracotta block going back from these mossy cobblestone walls. And on the side of the green terracotta block, we're going to place that dark trap trapdoor to the sides. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some jungle, or sorry, some acacia wood trapdoors. We're going to place down a row of two in the middle here and open them up like so to create the backing of the seats here for both the driver and the gunner. After that, uh, come off the two trapdoors here and I'll place down two dark goku trapdoors like this. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark goku trapdoor in this spot, open toward the middle, same thing over here. And then we're going to wrap trapdoors around the two sides of this trapdoor here. So you create these little boxes with these little spaces like so. Same thing over here. And then with that out of the way, last thing for us to do is to go ahead and take some dark cocoa trapdoors and place them down on top of these green terracotta blocks and on top of this green shulker box. And lastly, to finish it off, we're going to place down a stone button on top of the nerve brick up south to like that to finish it off. With that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design here for the Carden Lloyd Mark VI tankette. Hope you guys do enjoy this design for it. It's a pretty straightforward little build and something kind of fun and part of uh, British history and part of that funky interwar period where there's a lot of weird tanks that really uh, are just really dumb <laughs> to say the very least and this is one of those tanks. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this build. If you do end up using it, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been a thing from some build to my channel or this video if this is a pretty social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, but other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video is to report and I'll see you guys next time.